I know that some of you wanted to watch me tapping out or retapping this hole for the screw that I had to get out of this 99 once I broke the head off. I did not film the part where I got the screw out. It was hair raising to say the least, but I am attempting to retap the hole with the same size tap so that I can find an original screw that fits perfectly in this hole. I don't know if I damage the threads too much where even if I just chase the tap that is the correct size for what the screw should be in this hole, if you know, if I can chase this down and get enough of a bite with the screw, great. Now, the size of tap is 256. Disclaimer, I don't do this that much. I am not an expert. The problem that I ran into right away <laughs> was because I don't do it much, I don't have all the appropriate tools. So my usual little tool that would grip the end of the tap so I can turn it by hand and retap the hole doesn't fit. It does not go small enough to fit the end of this tap. <laughs> so I'm getting very creative over here and I'm actually using a pair of needle nose pliers. Holding this with my hand very steady, making sure it's as perfectly vertical as I can get it. And I'm just slowly turning the tap, keeping it steady. If this doesn't work, the next size up is 3 48 and that's what I'll try to tap the hole out with and then hopefully find a screw that will work. But this is all I am doing. And as I go a little bit at a time, the proper process would be to back the tap out and then back in. That frees up all those little bits of metal that it's shaving off. And I'm just looking here at the bottom, I wanna see when the tap finally starts to poke through the bottom and it's not just yet. So very slowly <laughs> and very carefully, I'm going to proceed. If this is totally the wrong way, I hope that you will be forgiving. I'm just working with what I've got here. Okay, let's check to see if we can see it. I am seeing more metal shavings come out the bottom, so I'm just going to keep on turning this tap, holding it steady and straight vertically. And I'm pushing down too, I'm putting downward pressure here. It feels like there's a little bit of a bite. I just don't know if it's enough to re-thread this hole or not. A couple more turns and we'll see if it's poking out the bottom yet. I can see the very tip of the tap poking out the bottom. So I'm just gonna keep going until I can see more of it. And Bob Fowler is the one who encouraged me to try to re-tap this hole with the original size threads first. That did not occur to me. I just assumed that I was going to have to size up and find a screw that would work. Let me show you how much is showing now. I don't know if you can see right here, just a little bit. I want more of that to show. In my opinion, there's not enough resistance that really gives me confidence that this is going to work. Okay, so now I can just turn it by hand. So I'm gonna go all the way down as far as I can go, and then I'm gonna twist it out. There we go. I can see some metal shavings on this tap, so maybe it worked. Go ahead and brush this out a little bit. Taking a Q-tip putting some oil on the end here. These are really cool, very fine Q-tips. I'm just kind of running it down in the hole. The oil is going to help grab some of those metal shavings. So I can see, I can see threads. Let's see if I can show you a better look. 
up in this hole, I definitely can see threads. So I'm gonna get the screw from my late model 99 and see if it'll fit in this hole now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this would go in here like this. Just gonna use a screw starter. And let's see if we have bite. You know what we do? <laughs> Guess what guys? That is going to work. So it looks like I will just have to find another screw that holds this little spring in place. But I'm happy with that. What a relief, <laughs> honestly, what a relief. So the tap size that I used to retap this hole was the same as the original screw. I did it, I'm sure, the wrong way. I'm sure some of you were wondering what the heck I was doing, but I had no choice. <laughs> and also this is an aluminum body machine. So I probably had an easier time with it because it was aluminum instead of the cast iron. So need to remember that probably worked in my favor. So 256 tap in, back out. <laughs> old pair of jewelers pliers to hold it steady and thankfully it worked. I know some of you wanted to see this is not how you tap a hole. Let's just be honest and straightforward here. If you needed to tap out a hole you would need better supplies. This was me winging it trying to make do with what I had and since this little accessory that came with some other taps that I have didn't fit this end, this end was too small, that's why I use these. Anyway, but good news is the problem's gone. I can forget about it now. I look forward to seeing you guys really soon. Bye.